welcome to the Solid Edge podcast, bringing you quick and easy tips and tricks from the experts. Since Solid Edge with synchronous technology, we adopted the Microsoft Fluent user interface as first seen in Office 2007. I like it both in Office and Solid Edge. It's a nicer way to work, but it's different from previous versions of Solid Edge. Here's a quick tour to help you become accustomed. The application button in the top left hand corner contains most of the commands found under the previous file menu. The button at the bottom is where you invoke the Solid Edge options dialog. Here you can make changes to general settings such as default reference plane size, change view properties, default colours and more. The quick access bar presents commonly used commands such as file open and save. It can easily be customised to add additional commands you find useful. Here I'll add the cut, copy and paste buttons. The command bar presents all the tool options in steps, in order from top to bottom. Think of it as a vertical smart step tool. Below it in the sidebar is the pathfinder. Component features are stored, collected and displayed here, and the assembly structure will be shown for assembly files. Other commands such as feature and part libraries, sensors and more are available via the other tabs. The command prompt contains useful information about the tools you are currently using, such as walking you through the steps of each command, or telling you about alternative options. The command finder speeds up your learning curve and helps you transition from other systems. Next door to the command finder are the view commands, allowing you to quickly window, zoom, select view presets and more. Finally, the command ribbon groups all similar or related commands together. It's context sensitive, so changes depending on the task you are doing, whether it be modelling, creating an assembly or a drawing. If you want to learn more, visit us at solidedge.com or call your local SolidEdge channel partner.